Hey everybody, Iskal here and welcome back guys to episode number 5 of the Moonlight Vanilla++ Plus Plus series here on my channel. Um, I am out sailing on the big ocean. Oh, there's a note right there. What I'm actually trying to find is a Perditio ore. So remember in Tomcraft there are different um, types of um, V. And for example, you'll see that all the primal Vs are like this. So you got air, fire, water, terra, or earth. Uh, Perditio, which is what we are looking for, and Ordo. Okay, um, now to make the basic uh, crafts from Tomcraft, the ones that you can make in your workbench, you will need to load up your wand with uh, a bunch of those uh, different uh, um, aspects or, or uh, Vs. And unfortunately, to make the goggles of revealing, where you can, uh, a helmet that you can wear so that you can see the notes that contains this V, um, you need. Uh, Perditio and you need everything basically that was what I took up here so these are the ones we want to make you need air you need fire and all that and um, I've been exploring a lot in between this episode and the last one and I still haven't found a single node containing Perditio which is really bothering me at the moment uh, <laughs> the problem seems to be that I need to find one of those nodes in a swamp or a swamp biome type a dead biome type uh, this here is a fire swarm, so I was hoping that I'd get lucky because I haven't actually looked around here. But basically, you can spot the notes without that tonometer, but it's really, really tough. So with it, you'll see them clearly, and also with the goggles of revealing, you'll see them clearly. So it's a bit, um, bit of a hassle to get started with Tomcraft, and it takes a lot of time. But you know, no fear, we got editing right, so I can always edit out all the time when I'm just running around like this. I just want to, to take this into the intro of this episode here. Um, in between episodes, I've also done some, uh, played around a little bit with Harvest Craft. I'm going to show you that uh, when I get back to base. And I've also created a new sword for us. Uh, it's just called the Broadsword, and this is made out of manilium. You'll see, you'll notice on the right hand side, the little uh, pink material there that is manilium manilium is basically a mix of aluminite iron and obsidian and that is one of the better materials that you can get so this is i'd say a mid-range um weapon right here um and it has nine attack damage i've enchanted it with sharpness by putting quartz on it um so nine attack damage is slightly better than your average diamond sword so we're in pretty good shape i needed that because i needed to go to the nether and everything so i needed a better sword so i went ahead and made it off camera i thought we had done enough tinker's construct for a little while anyway um so so yeah basically everything is going well except that i can't find a perditio node so let me look around and uh, as soon as we can make the goggles of revealing this will be so much easier to get going with tomcraft oh look at that there's julian's base i think it's really getting started cool okay oh yes i did it we did it uh whatever i finally found like a, a, a perditio node uh, in this very kind of dead landscape here. Now, Perditio nodes are not um, rarer, I don't think, than any other node. So I think it's the same spawn rate on everything. It just has to do with, or have to do with the biome. And for some reason, our fantastic land only have nice bounds close by. So we are a good one and a half thousand blocks away from, from home, I think. But that's, that's superb, that's okay. Now, when I found this, to drain the V out of it, I simply right-click with my wand, and you see at the top left corner that it's kind of filling up there. And there we go, my wand is full. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bookmark this, and I'm going to say Perditio, actually, let's have a look. Perditio, Ordo, and Water, okay. So Water, Ordo, and Perditio. Grab, I'm going to write. So... That is a client uh, bookmark, so that's only visible for me. Um, but basically, I want to come back here and grab this node, because later we will be able to move nodes so that we can charge uh, them up in our base, which would be much better. And I'm just checking out this cool little place here real quick. Um, actually, i got to say, Biomes of Plenty, the update seems to be huge. It seems to be a lot of stuff that they've added, because during this little exploring, wow, have I found stuff. Oh, cool looking places. I found a mo uh, mushroom deep forest. And it looks like the biomes of plenty, um, oh sorry, the twilight forest biomes that are now found also overground, um, 
do not spawn monsters on the surface, which is kind of interested, uh, interesting. And if I would have known that, I would probably not have um, uh, put base where, where we're at. But that's okay. Um, I don't know if I showed you this in the last episode, so sorry if I repeat it, but I created a golden bag for, uh, finally. And this basically gives me a double chest extra inventory space, which is fantastic. And allows me to, to grab more stuff when I'm out on my expeditions. But I'm going to mine down this uh, gold up there because gold is very valuable to us at this time. And uh, then I meet you back at base. Uh, home sweet home, guys. Home sweet home. So, um, we got the Predicio and we are in good shape to, to do the Gogas of Revealing. But let's first look at what I've done uh, in between episodes. I have been to the Nether. I'm not going to go through because this links up to Demonair's portal, which is uh, like 500 blocks from here in the overworld. So, I don't want to run back uh, immediately. But yeah, we've gone to the Nether. I've farmed some quartz and stuff there. Um, also, I have been, um, I'm not really sure, I've been redoing some stuff in the base here, I've put up this, this is a tool rack from Bibliocraft, you craft it with one piece of iron ingot and surrounded by slabs and, and depending on what wood you use you'll get different uh, style, I just use spruce because I had it but it turned out pretty cool. Uh, when I've been exploring, I've also found this. This tool here is something you'd want to find early because uh, it's pretty expensive to craft. This is the Builder's Wand. And let me demonstrate what you can do with this. So if I would place down cobble like this, I could duplicate that by... Look at that. I can either duplicate the wall in, an, in a 3x3 area or duplicate that just by right-clicking. I need to have, of course, the materials in my inventory, but that makes a lot of... Uh, it gives me a lot of help building bigger stuff, so I'm really happy that I managed to find a village one, and I found it in a dungeon chest, basically. Cool. Um, another thing that we have done is this guy here, which is your vanilla um, multi-smelter uh, thing, and it shouldn't have essence berries in it. But basically, I drop down my essence berries or whatever I want to smelt there, and it outputs into the into the chest. That being said, let's just see how we're doing here. Uh, yeah, doing okay. And let me clear that. Cool. And some more experience is nice. Oh yeah, and also, finally, I put up a, an enchantment spot right outside here. You probably saw it when I ran into the base. Um, and I've enchanted some boots and I got haste 2 on them. So I'm running a bit quicker than your standard average running. In Tormcraft though, we will be able to make boots called Boots of the Traveler which will make our running speed even quicker. Cool. Um, I also wanted to show you a bit of the harvest craft that I promised in the last episode. I've actually already started with it. It's pretty straightforward, although you can do a lot of things. So uh, what you want to build early on is a juicer. I should have built this like in episode one had I known about this. The juicer you make simply out of, uh, over here, putting together a smooth stone and a pressure plate. And that gives you the juicer. Now, a lot of berries and stuff that you find from Harvest Craft, and maybe from Natura, yeah, you can put that in the inventory with the juicer and you will get raspberry juice for, from the raspberry berries. And they are much better than, um, than, any, than just eating the berries. Like, uh, it's ridiculously much better. So, for example, you get half a hunger bar or a hunger bar per apple, but if you make apple juice by putting the juicer there and putting in some apples, you'll get apple juice. Um, this food here is actually giving me two and a half bars so yeah that's that's pretty pretty OP and very very easy to have food so that's probably gonna be our food production for this series here making a lot of juice now obviously in uh, the uh, um, in the nice uh, harvest craft mod there are a lot of other things things that I don't know about yet so um, you know uh, we, we will for sure check that out later but basically um, the mod allows you to cook stuff so you can you know you can put things together you can salt things and all that very very cool stuff um, and I've also planted an apple tree here just so I have apples that I can make juice out of so now food isn't an issue I found these silver bell saplings when I was uh, looking for that node and I thought they looked pretty cool so I'm just gonna plant them down and see if they grow here and see if we can use the wood for anything uh, also, ender lilies. Um, I found these while exploring and I planted them down and these take a long time to grow, like 7 Minecraft 24-hour uh, days, I think, so day and night. 
Um, and yeah, some of them are on 14% still. I planted them all at the same time. Basically, when they are uh, done growing, you can harvest them and get an ender pearl. And they also hurt you, so you better be careful. Um, but we're going to need a few ender pearls, and that's a pretty good way to get them early on. So, now, we got the Perditio. Let's finally craft, and I got everything ready here, the Goggles of Revealing. So all I need to do is uh, follow the recipe from the book, which I've done here. So two tonoma tonometers, uh, two pieces of gold and four leather. And then I put my iron staff or my wand in here. And if I have enough V that you can see that I have, then it will tell me, okay, this is what it's going to cost with this staff. The better wand or staff I get, the less V I'm going to pay. And boom, there are my Goggles of Revealing. Now, if I exchange my iron helmet for those i lose some armor but i will now be able to see all the nodes around um, the standard of uh, tomcraft version 4.1 in um in um uh, in the 1.7 uh, minecraft version seems to be that nodes spawn very are very more rare or much rarer than previously and that means that we don't have a lot of nodes anywhere basically which i think is pretty cool because that gives you uh, a harder or tougher time to to pro to go forward in the in the mod uh, i can't talk at the moment <laughs> i don't know um but anyway thanks for sleeping there so the next thing um in tomcraft that we want to make is probably look at the wands again um we desperately want the equal trade or i want that for sure that's a really good wand foci uh, but I think maybe first, let's see if we can't make a great wand core. So what we need is to, to do any research is scribing tools and some paper in our inventory. Then we can click these and we will trade some ink in the scribing tools and a paper for a research note. Uh, take the research note into our research table and we'll get the little mini game puzzle. Now I have research, research expertise, and now you can see that I am able to see what the things are made out of. And basically, you need to connect these up. So this guy here is made out of Ordo and Man. Okay. Uh, and if we have a look at the Procantio, you can see that it's made out of Void and this thing here, which is, which is Potentia. So I think Ordo is something that we can go with. I think this guy here is made out of Air and something else, Air and Herba. Okay. I know the name of these simply because I've been. Uh, using Tomcraft for a while, um, so don't expect I don't expect you to to understand fully, but it will go pretty quick. So what I think we can do here is place down an order here, and we can go with a potentia thing here, right? And from that potentia, I'm gonna go uh, what's this ordo? Yeah, I'm gonna go another ordo here, and they don't connect up, right? Because they are not um, they're not made out of each other; they are the same. And I'm gonna connect the fire over there put a lux down which I know have air in it and by that I'm connecting up the arbor uh, the tree thing there and now I simply need to connect up to ordo and I can do that using oh no I can't do that using metal they have changed that then darn it um, in the previous tomcraft version this was made out of saxum and ordo but apparently not anymore so that's going to be interesting I should probably then be a bit more careful when I do this in the future yeah I guess we can use that and there we go discovery great one core Cool. Open that up and we can see that that's simply two great wood logs um, in the crafting table and we needed some perdicio. We still have some left in our wand so no worries. Um, there will be a long trip back though um, to get me some more. Um, so like that and then you can see that it's kind of blinking there. I put in the wand and boom great wand rod. Cool. This will allow me to give a, get a much better staff here and that's our wand and that's what we're doing basically. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that I did indeed make the lumber axe that me and Julian was speaking about in the last episode. So now chopping down trees is very, very easy and I love it. I don't really have any trees that I want to chop down here to demonstrate, but uh, oh well, let's chop down this. Look at this. Aiming at the lower one. Joink. That is cool. That is awesome. And of course, the better the material, the bigger the trees I can chop down and the better uh, with a better speed. I can also enchant it as any other Tinker Construct tools. But back to this, uh, we need some new wand caps as well for this wand to be functional. Uh, now, actually, I'm going to go pretty quick and make the silver wand when I can. So I'm not going to put any fancy on it, but let's go with gold because um, that is pretty, pretty decent. Um, there's the research node. 
basically the wound caps will give me better V discount and it will the wound base will allow me to hold more V so the I uh, the wood with the iron gives me a discount or no discount it actually gives you an increased cost while the and it, and it only carries 25 while this guy can carry 50 and the gold will give me a 10% discount I think so yeah that's pretty good uh, now since they've changed around the recipe I need to think about it let's do man there then and then let's go to the cognitio and that will take us to terra which was in that terra is something that you'll have a lot of so you can use a lot of that and yeah we can go immediately man look at that perfect cool uh, right click that and that gives us the gold wand uh, or gold caps which we should even have in here yeah we're gonna need 10 right let's go ahead and do that and put the one in there oops there we go and i think simply a little thing like this will do and i'm gonna need some v and i'm pretty running low already but there we go that's a much better one but you'll notice that it's completely empty it says capacity 50 but i don't have any v so now again i need to go and scan some more um oops i just bought that accidentally i am gonna need it anyway uh, but now again, I need to go and scan some more um, nodes. But let's see what it takes for us to do a one of equal trade. This puzzle, I think, is a bit tougher. Yeah, let me skip ahead and solve this. And there we go. Not the prettiest uh, uh, solution to that puzzle, but that's okay for me. So let's see what this involves. Okay, we can actually craft this in the Arcane Workbench. That is a good... Uh, that is good news and we only need yeah not too bad that's pretty straightforward i think as far as item goes let's just lay this out oh we are very low on shards because we're not very we're not doing a lot of mining at the moment and i probably should equip if you press b by default i rebound it to c uh, you will get up this kind of inventory where you can put tomcraft stuff and you'll find these in the world i think we found them even in the first episode and you'll see that I get some extra discount from wearing them. So that's pretty important and also something new. Now let's lay this out. I think uh, just make sure that we have everything. Uh, four nether quartz. Yeah. Do we have any? Um, where could I put any quicksilver? Oh, probably in the tomcraft chest, right? Nope. Okay, so quicksilver we can get either by pun um, by punching on shimmer leaves uh, which is a flower that you'll find in magical biomes or we could smelt cinnabar ore so that's what i'm gonna do uh steak no i i'm eating my apple juice and i'm vegetarian and yes you are really eating it you are not drinking it you're chewing on the glass thing that is weird but that's okay uh <laughs> i forgive the guy for it okay like that yeah but now you'll see that we have insufficient V, so basically I need to go and charge the wand again. But it's going to be worth it, trust me, we want that um, folk guy. Um, I think, however, though, let's see. What if I run away off camera and stop babbling and um, look for, for one so I can charge up our new cooler wand here, the gold banded great wood wand. And... Uh, We'll make that equal exchange just before we close up the episode because I know we're getting pretty close to due time if we're not already over it. So let me do that and stop babbling here and I'll be back with you in a second. And this is what happens when you use the goggles of revealing. We are here, it's in the middle of the night, but we are just outside our base here and look at this, a Perditio node. And you'll notice that it's uh, very low on V at the moment. That's because I drained it and I went ahead and researched a research uh, research the research. I went, I went ahead and got me, myself some knowledge of node tapping. So now I'm uh, I'm able to, to tap nodes, which is what I'm doing when I'm right clicking them with my wand uh, and still re retaining some of the V in them. So let me sleep through the night and I think we should be good to craft uh, the equal exchange foci here. Uh, there and yes look at that equal trade is the name not equal exchange sorry guys and to equip it i pick up my staff and i hold f and i'll get this little menu and i simply hover it and there's the equal exchange now why was this so important let me show you let me show you my friends uh let's grab some cobble here and where's that chisel thing there cool and we're gonna chisel the cobble into something a bit nicer we may change this later this is just for demonstration uh, but let's see, uh, 
Maybe we'll do that block. I kind of like the look of it. It's white and <laughs> white and stony. Okay, so we got that in our inventory. Now, I don't have any... Oh, actually, I need some more Prodigio to actually do this, but I'll have to fix that off camera. Um, so what I can do is replace one of the blocks with this, and then I can go just right-click and boom. Cool, it's exchanging all the cobble, and this block was horrible looking for the walls here, so we're not going to use that. But I'm going to fix this up off camera uh, in between episodes, because uh, here is pretty much the end of episode 5. We've got an equal trade wound, uh, we've got a way um, to quickly build nicer stuff, which is important, at least to me. I like designing stuff, as you know. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be focusing on, I'm probably going to do a lot of research off camera, because I don't think it's very good video material. Um, and please do, do leave me some comments and feedback of what you think and what you want to see. But I think what we should focus in on is getting to Atomic Tinkerer because this will unlock a wand foci for us somewhere, I believe, that gives us the ability to regen health, which is what we desperately need. Anyway, guys, for now, take care and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.